<laughs> Missing everything else in this mid lane so far. It's not easy for Rory. And bottom, uh, 72 on the Luna, tied under. We are still seeing Eleven get some really solid farm. This dump will connect, he should still be fine. But what a start for VP. Top, also getting the kill. Lane setup's working perfectly for VP. Oh, this is wild. Bottom lane. You will manage to take down Kingslayer here, old Eleven and DY. Now they've got the ring of health on old Lemon. He's going to be feeling a little bit beefier. Not slow. First Remnant will be out of range. Might not matter though. He's able to dodge the second one with the slider fist and Remnant. Uh, and the, sorry, the fire shield is up, so blocking a fair bit of aggression here for the two of them. T.Y. will be over. He might just die himself. I, I think he might. Oh, he's just able to get the bounce. He dodged the damage. Bang. Okay, D.Y. Take it now, GPK here with Ori. Can they get safe as well? Uh, he'll die to a neutral, but still, big move from DY. Ori needed that so badly in the mid lane. DY coming in clutch to help pick Ori's game back. Because if you look at top, also, Poyoyo is 21-4. It's 29-11 on the Underlord, too. These lane setups, as we mentioned, top tier from VP already. I see mid. Regression again for GPK, but this time look how many heroes they have coming back. Double rotation. They are done with GPK. They want him out of this lane. The boys coming in big time here to back up Ori. DY and PYW making sure they pick up their mids game. But since 11's left bottom again, instant move by VP to capitalize on top of that. So it ends up coming up, I mean, pretty even all in all. Sure, they take out GP. It's on the side lanes if VP start to get aggressive close to the towers of and, Vici. And he's got the max slight build with phase boots with the Blightstone, so I, he's I, gonna I, hurt. It really does. No change though, but the constant poke. Could still catch heroes out. Nice sleep. But gets woken up. He's going to try and chase on a little bit, but as you said, without the, the control on himself, won't be able to set up onto GPK. GPK, a little short on the initial zip. He's going to play on the high ground here with the, with the haste rune. Ori, he's looking to chase down the support. Give a save, but DM lays down the pit. Ori, he'll stop to dig up a salve. GPK's going to look to jump in back up to PYW. He's still got a fair bit of mana to play with GPK. He wants to try and chase down the Snapfire. Has he, has he got enough in the tank to take down PYW? He does. He does. GPK gets the kill. Back up to the side, save. Momentarily holding Ori in position with the Nightmare. And they won't have anything back up to root him in position, so Ori breaks away. Hard camp, and he pops meta. Just has to try to catch up somehow. Uh, lovely stacks here for Ori. Get himself back on track for a good amount of time in this game. They've got him in the river. Oh, yo, yo, stepping over the meta. Will be held back by the stomp. So Kingslayer can look to get his way out of this at all. GPK has managed to jump over the back. Let's get on top of Poyoyo. A cookie to the side, but there's no further help. Poyoyo to fall. Not worth it for Poyoyo at all. Just wants to get a kill and get out, but GPK again, just triangle. DM. Doesn't have backup. But you can see, of course, the pit into the Atos, how strong it can be versus the Ember. Oh, and behind. They make the die. GPK goes in straight away on a PYW, and the Nightmare comes out, but the Ravage will come after catching GPK. This time, Old Eleven able to punish him for the dive. Grip Ori. onto the Ember Spear. Ori, he needs help, but he's not going to get it. Nightfall pushing back the rest of VG Gaming here as the Eclipse comes out. VG Gaming have to step to the side. Poyo and DY now looking to turn up. The Battle Strike goes crashing down on the two of the Kings there, looking to turn up for the stop. Holds back both of them, but he won't be able to stop Old Eleven, or maybe with the help of DM they can. The pit it is enough. Old Eleven can't continue to chase. They lose the two of the VP, they'll get to back VP off, but VP they'll more than happily swing up to the top lane. Look to finish up that final set of racks, get this me these mega creeps out. There's 50 seconds, no Ori. And VG has to just watch. They don't even have meta, so there's literally nothing they can do to defend this. It's just gonna have to be them, I mean, fighting versus mega creeps. And they're gonna try. They most definitely cannot do so, but they're gonna try to make a play. They've got the Ravage. What can they do here? Jump forward, they get the Ravage, they're gonna look to try and blow up Nightfall. Everybody on top of the Luna, can they kill him? Sometimes brought in with a Nightmare, allows him to put the BKB. He's tired and he's ready to heal back up. Brings down DYG, GG. he is called. Bonus Pro will take this game three. The series ends there, so they'll knock down BG Gaming. What a performance by the cores on VP in these last two games. The itemization on point, I love DM in this game. Going for his Crimson Guard, going for his Atos, going for Lotus Orb, picture perfect stuff. GPK initiating every single fight. I actually do not know, remember, I think I remember one fight where Vici was the ones initiating a fight. VP, a masterclass this time.